Morning there peeps, we're doing a bit of a video today and we're not doing the usual format that you see in FPL where you get a talking head, you know, uh, going on at you for like an hour or so. So what I've done, we're going to be looking at the screen instead, you know, because you don't want to be seeing my ugly mug. And uh, what it is, I'm putting a team together for the uh, General's um, Charity League, you know. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be making it based on uh, expected stats because... Uh, a lot of talk about expected stats and I thought I'd just base my team on it and then do the transfers on it etc rather than do it my own way I'd just do it you know based on these stats just to see how good they are you know because uh, I thought I'd see what sort of team it would come up with so we'll get on with that anyway peeps I've already kind of done a bit to um make it easier you know for so what we're going to do we're going to go on to the expected stats at um, understat so here we are. We're going to, have to go on expected goals and assists. So we'll get to page one. Don't want Ozil. What was that page? Was that? He was on about page 15, wasn't he? Shocking, isn't it? Right, so here we are, peeps. Here's the um, top players according to expected stats for goals and assists. So tops Hazard. It's no surprise there, you know. He's equal measure goals and assists. So we're going to put him in our team. So what I've done, I've already kind of... Um, there you look, Hazard's in. So I've already done this because I did it originally and I was having to spend time scrolling down, finding the player on the transfer page and all that. And you don't want to be bothered with all that, do you, peeps? Because you ain't got all day, you know. You're busy people and that, I know that. So uh, we'll get on to the next one. So you've got to put Salah in because he's number two. Although he's a bit, you know, he's only got seven goals and one, ass three goals and one assist, you know, because... This is where expected stats could fall down, you know, because he's expected to score, but he's got no confidence in that, is he? So that's why he isn't scoring, isn't it? So unless he sorts himself out, this could be bad. But we're going to put him in because he's number two on expected stats, you know. People go on about him, don't they? You know, he's expected now, so they're sticking with him. But if his confidence is low, there's no guarantee it's going to come back, is there? So um, Aguero, the next one. So we're going to stick him in. There he goes. Look, Aguero's in now. So now, peeps, we need to uh, start looking at a bit few cheaper options. But it's lucky that Wilson is actually the fourth top anyway. So he's um, pretty good. He's actually pretty good for the goals. You know, better than Hazard and um, Aguero. But he's got less system. Why is he below Aguero? He's got 5.3. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Because he's ahead of um, Aguero in expected goals. And he's ahead of Aguero in expected assists. Yet he's below Aguero on expected goals plus assists. So you try and work that out, peeps, because I'll be buggered if I can, you know. But we'll stick him in anyway, because he's the next on the list. Seems a bit odd, but still, right, he's in there. So now we Vardy's the next one, but I don't think we can afford Vardy. If we've got money for him later, we'll get him in, you know, but we need someone cheap. And luckily for us, Ings is um, right up there. You know, he's six, sixth overall out of all the players in FPL for expected goals and assists, which is a bit um, of a surprise, isn't it? So we'll stick him in. So we've got him in the team now. So our team's coming together nicely. So um, we want a sheet. So what I've done here, peeps, we've... I put Hoiberg in because we need a 4.5 mid, don't we? So um, I've stuck him in. I looked through earlier and there's none that have got any good expected stats on this. So um, I just stuck him in there. He's, so it seems to be the best option. So there's no other. We need a cheap uh, mid now for the fourth mid. And I can't really see anybody on that page. The first one that comes up is... Uh, oh, hang on, peeps. I thought it was Fraser. But I've missed this Gunder. Gundogan, he's actually above Fraser, isn't he? I put Fraser in originally when I made the team the first time. What have I done there? Click something I shouldn't. So let's see. We got. Yeah, so what have we done here? Let's see. Double check. Now I've done uh, messed it up now. Look, because uh... oh, this is what I've done. I haven't put the. Um done it by uh, the minutes you've got to put the minimum minutes in so I set that at 400 
we don't want anybody who hardly ever plays so I do that, that might get rid of um, Right, let's have a look. So we're back on there. Page two. Fraser's there now. Yeah, he's disappeared now. Oh, Gundogan's disappeared, thank goodness. So we won't be getting him. I thought I'd made a mistake for a minute. But um, so we'll put Fraser in. Because we don't want someone who's hardly going to play, do we? You know, that's why I use that minutes for the filter. So we got rid of him. So I need one more um, midfielder now. We look down, we can't afford Pogba. So we'll get rid of him. I don't even know who this um, Luciano Vieto is. I think he's a striker, isn't he, for Fulham? He sounds like a blooming uh, mafia boss, doesn't he? Right, Sigerson, he's the one. So that's right. So we get Sigerson in now. So our team, there's all our attackers, look, they're all there now. And we've got. Um, 34 million to spend. So I put the keepers, I just put Patricio and Fabianski in because uh, there's no keepers that are going to be higher than expected goals and assists. So we ignore that. We've got 25.5 million for defence. And I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to get five ones that are good, you know, so we don't have to worry about fixtures and that then because we've got five that are reasonably good. So we should always have three with a good fixture. So what I'd done, I said uh, no more than 5.5 .5 million on a defender because um, I tried it before and put Alonso in because he's the highest on this system. But it just it just doesn't work because we haven't got the money. You know, we've only got 99.9 .9 million, so we can't um, get him. So we're going to go down until we find these defenders. So we're looking, there's none on the... F Do you remember after the first few weeks, uh, top of pages were all full of defenders, weren't they? Well, they've all kind of vanished now because, as you'd expect, because there was that big thing at the start of the season for the premium defenders, wasn't there? And that's moved, we've moved away from that now a bit, haven't we? Because, uh, you know, they've all sunk down a bit now. Trippio, he's there. He's the highest, but he's too expensive. So we can't have him. And then uh, Mendy and Alonso. We can't, interesting, Trippier's above Alonso and Mendy, but we can't have them either. Or Robertson. Oh, look, Doherty's right up there with him. So we're going to stick Doherty in. Which is um, good news, isn't it? So we'll stick him in because he's nice and cheap. I think I've missed someone, haven't I? I better go back. I think I've missed Olibas, who was on there when I looked the first time round. Yeah, Olibas, I missed him. He's the highest rated defender. He's above Trippier, actually, for attacking... We won't worry about his um, suspension because it's only for one game. We're not going to worry about that. We don't, we're not unlikely to need him, are we? So we'll uh, stick him in. So now we keep going down the list. And we'll see who we've got, peeps. We've got um, Doherty. We don't want any other Wolves defenders, do we? So uh, we keep going. Digny. Digny and Monreal, they're the next two. Monreal's in the range, he's 5.5, .5, so we can stick him in. Monreal, Digny. And then I look down, I won't bore you anymore, because you, know, you can already see what I've done, I've already done it earlier. So Aki was the next one for um, Bournemouth. So this is our team peeps, so... Uh, that I've made you just using these stats, you know, there's no real input from me apart from the keepers, and that's it. Everything else was based on the highest on the stats for the expected goals and assists. And I think all these people are arguing today about the shortcomings of um, expected goals and assists. Well, you look at this team, and it's pretty template. The front seven are pretty template to what the Twitter people have all got, you know, so there's not much difference there. So I think we can really say that there obviously is something in expected stats. So this team would look completely different from everybody's FPL team, wouldn't it? And it doesn't. It looks very, very similar. So um, they're obviously pretty good, these expected stats. So here's our team anyway, peeps. We'll have a look. I've already um, done it earlier and put it in order. And it looks pretty good for this week. Better than my own team anyway. You've got uh, Digny at home to Palace and... Uh, 
Doherty home to Watford, Monreal home to Leicester, and Aki home to Southampton. And we've got the big four there, you know, quite well balanced midfield, isn't it? And a couple of decent strikers. So I put Ings on the bench. I think he's the one to bench, yeah. I don't know what we'll have the following week because I see we've got four four of our uh, defenders at home this week, aren't they? So uh, the next week it might be a bit trickier for the defence, but we've got Ings in that as well, so we'll see. Plus we've got transfers, which is why I wasn't too bothered, you know, because uh, I don't know how we'll sort the transfers out yet. We're going to have to find a way. I suppose we'll look at the one that's on the bottom of, you know, if someone else moves above one of these players on the expected stats and we'll bring them in and replace them with that player. And then there's going to be injuries and that as well, isn't there? But we'll work that out later, peeps. You don't need to worry about that too much. I did look at the Fantasy Scout um, ticker list before, which is quite interesting. If you look at the ticker, I'll put it back to um, six weeks. And it's quite interesting because we all think West Ham have got really good fixtures, don't we? But this ticker... It doesn't. And I thought it was a bit odd because I think they are good fixtures. You know, they've got Burnley at home. I suppose they are away to Newcastle and Huddersfield. We all think what West Ham have got these great fixtures, but the ticker list doesn't think they have. It actually likes Newcastle and Brighton. But like we haven't got any of them in this team, have we? Or Leicester or Huddersfield. Or Cardiff, for that matter. So it'd be interesting to see, you know, because uh, maybe the reason these people have got no good stats so far is because they've had hard fixtures so maybe some of these players will start rising on the list but I doubt it somehow because uh, they're not that great are they these teams that have got the good fixtures so the Arsenal, Man United, Tottenham and Palace are awful fixtures so that's going to be a bit of a tester isn't it? although we haven't really got many of those players in have we, we got, I don't think we've got any Tottenham or Man United players in the team anyway so we'll see, peeps. Anyway, I thought that was um, quite good anyway, you know, what we've done there. So that's a little video. So what I do, I'll update them every week. You know, I do a little one and it uh, won't be as long as this one. And we'll see. Hopefully it's well received. You can give me suggestions and that, you know, because uh, I want some of them. I'll go and see if I might edit it a little bit. It might be all right like this. I'm just for those that are interested, I'm using... Um, what am I using? I'm using O something or other. I don't know. O, o, OBS, that was it. I'm using OBS software, which is pretty good for doing the old screen capture and that. So I expect you'll all be copying soon. I'll probably be seeing a few more of these turn up now, won't we, peeps? Anyway, that's it for me for now. So I'll say goodbye. Okay, cheers for now. I'll be doing a pod later as well. Okay, cheers.